Hello, my name is Brad and today we're going to be talking about downloading Snapchat data. Now, a lot of people recently have been moving away from social media, mainly down to policies, etc. And today we will not be talking about that. But what we will be talking about is how we download our Snapchat data. Now, some people may already know, if you ask for a Facebook request to download your data, they send you a link via email within the hour, normally. You click the link, you download the zip file, open it up, and everything's in there, including your photos, videos, posts, uh, anything you've been tagged in, uh, everything like that. And the same with Instagram, and I think the same with a few other companies as well. However, with Snapchat, when you go to the download your data page, which can be seen up here uh, on the URL, um, you actually ask for a data request and it sends you an email where you can download a zip package. But when you open the zip package, there's just links to all of the memories and you have to go through each one and download them individually. I will show you exactly what I'm talking about now. So I'm just going to um, attempt to download my data. So if we scroll down here, go to our accounts page. So my username is bradbird90 and my password is that. Save that, even though I will never be using it again. <laughs> and here you can see we've got a snap code, ads manager, delete my account, unlock my account, and everything else that you can see, which you can't actually see on the app, which is quite weird. So if we click on my data, you can see here that we have everything that we can download from Snapchat. So submit request. Um, they will now email my email address uh, within the next hour. I, I blurred it out for the purposes of this video because I don't want everyone knowing my personal email address. Um, so if we just come back in an hour and then hopefully our data will be ready for download. Okay, so we've now left it long enough and our data is ready for download. So you should receive an email that looks like this, that's on my screen, saying your Snapchat data is ready for download. In here, you'll have a link called click here. Go ahead and click it. And you'll see here that there is a link at the top of the page now. Um, so we can actually go ahead and close that previous tab. If we click this and click save. And now if you click the file that you just downloaded, uh, on a Mac, it will automatically unzip it to a folder when you try and open it. So now if we click on the dot, uh, index.html page file, you can see that it gives you something very much like Facebook where um, it tells you like your username for Snapchat and it tells you the connection types that you've used. Um, and then on the left hand side, you can see everything like chat history, uh, snap history, um, location, so where you've um, actually used the app and all of that good stuff. Um, the only thing that is annoying and which is the point of this video is that if we scroll down to memories, now memories are the thing that we want because they're the actual videos and the photos. So if you're deleting your social media accounts, obviously this is the only thing you really care about and you wanna download this to uh, your machine or your own cloud server or whatever you wanna do with it. So I'm just gonna, um, take a wild guess and I'm just going to click one okay so as you can see here it's a picture of my cat uh, my new kitten Freddy that managed to get on top of the stair banister if we go to the first tab I have open I'll put a link to this in the description below um, I've actually forked this package from somebody else called to the max and it's called Snapchat or Memories Downloader. The reason I forked it is because it's open source and public anyway, and I want to make some additions to it. So if we scroll down here, what this will allow us to do is essentially loop over all of the links in the JSON files and download them via either wget or curl or whatever's going on behind the scenes. I haven't actually looked at the, the raw code yet, but um, we need to download this. So if we click code here and then SSH and we'll copy that clone ID. So CD into my projects folder. And this is where I want to download the GitHub repository to. So if I do git clone, and I'll just keep it with the same name. 
and cd into that project name and we'll just list out the files so that we know that it's now working. So we've cloned the repository down to our local directory and now we can access it. So if we go back to the how to run, we'll see that it says download your Snapchat data, which we've done. And number three, we need to place all the scripts in this folder or set the dash F flag pointing to the memories history .json file. So I'm going to be really snazzy and I'm just going to use the dash F flag and see if it works. So let's open up our terminal. So if you look at step four, it will say uh, install the required modules of npm install. Uh, it's probably worth noting that you do will need to have uh, npm and node or mvm installed. Um, I may make another video on this on how to do that. Um, so if we type in npm ci, it does actually say here that you should npm install. There are a few minor differences between npm ci and npm i. C, uh, npm ci will install only the versions that are that are in the lock file whereas npm i will actually update the packages through the minor versions i like using npm ci because then you can guarantee that there will be no version change breakages so now we have all of that stuff installed and we can check that by typing ls and we can now see a node modules folder so the script we need to run is uh, on step number five run the script main.js so let's just type in node to make sure that we have node installed, which we do. Um, there we go, exit that. Um, so we type in node main.js. And remember we said before that we're gonna be fancy and use the dash F command. So we're gonna use dash F and then we're going to go to our home directory forward slash downloads. And I think the name of the folder is that. So if we just copy that from finder and then we need to find the memories file. So it's in JSON. And the name of the memories history file is that. So let's copy all of that. Oh, and paste that onto the end. Uh, so now we have uh, the uh, our home directory forward slash downloads forward slash my data underscore timestamp forward slash JSON forward slash memories underscore history dot JSON. And we're gonna press enter and hope for the best. So you can see here that it's found 2,200, uh, sorry, 2,539 links. Um, and we've got, so I'm not quite sure why it has two separate download progress bars, but I guess we'll find out when this gets to the end. So I left the terminal running overnight because it was taking quite a long time to download. Uh, it did actually take around four hours. So I just left it running overnight and then came to it in the morning. So now if I go to uh, my projects directory, which is here, and Snapchat all downloader, and then we go to downloads, you can see here that every single photo and video has now been downloaded from Snapchat and it's all safe and secure on my device and not on Snapchat servers. And now my account is actually in the process of being deleted. So um, goodbye Snapchat. <laughs> um, so that's how you do it. Uh, just to double check how the file size of, is of this. So it's actually 11 gigabytes. So it took four hours to download 11 gigabytes of files uh, from Snapchat. Now that's not necessarily your connection that's gonna affect that. It will be their servers, they might throttle your connection to them to make it even harder to get your data. I mean, they've already made it difficult enough that someone had to create a GitHub repo just to download these files. So I'm hoping in the future to actually turn this into an app that I can um, give to people to install. Uh, the only problem around that is privacy because I don't want the app to have access to the files that the app downloads. So I'll have to work out a way of doing that, but that's something for another day. So um, thanks for watching and I'm sorry it was a struggle to download your Snapchat data but now um, you can do it and if anybody else feels like they need to delete Snapchat for any reason then you can help them out with it. Um, you do need to have a little bit of IT knowledge or programming knowledge in order to accomplish this but um, hopefully it wasn't too difficult from my video. So uh, thanks for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you next time. See you later.